What's up guys, Shambles11. Now, many of you will probably know that I have my own custom Xbox Elite controller. Um, however, because I was one of the first people, certainly in the UK, to get a custom one, um, and I've used it quite a bit, you can see there has been quite a bit of damage roughly there, and um, where it comes on and off, it's kind of um, headsets and I use a chat pad it's done some damage um, it's also causing quite a seam to happen I don't know how well you can see that um, and I don't really want this getting damaged any more than it already is so I kind of stopped using it I thought it was a bit of a waste so I decided to get a new faceplate which has finally turned up and I thought I'd show you guys or share with you guys how we're going to go about fitting this so first things first um, you need a couple of bits now I bought a few things. I bought a torque screwdriver set, which is what you're going to need. These are basically hex um, screwdriver heads. Um, it was a, it's called the Xbox One uh, kit. These are for prising off the buttons, which I'm not going to do. That's far too much um, work. These ones I don't particularly need. They're too small. Um, I just need this one. You get a lovely little brush for cleaning stuff out which I won't need um, and what's quite useful is one of these now this uh, little plectrum looking thing um, is used to get the grips off which you can see I've already done now the reason I've already done that is because they are a little bit fiddly because these ones um, if I actually show you would help you see they've got a sticky pad on them so they required a little bit of brute force but basically um, all you do when it's assembled which I'll roughly put on is down under the trigger you slide in the thin bit and then you work it down and eventually it comes in and boom they pop off so you do that on both sides okay now the next thing you want to do or really you should do this first is take off everything you can so obviously the the paddles at the back can come off and we'll take the thumbsticks off and we'll take the d-pad off okay everything's going to be a lot easier now guys I have to warn you this will void your warranty on your controller if you do this mine is already voided because um, it's been customized so um, I'm not too fussed what we're going to do is we're going to take off this and you can see your um, warranty void if remove sticker um, but mine is already avoided it did and underneath is where the first screw is I've already taken mine out and hopefully put it somewhere safe which I'm fairly certain I have but it is here just here and um, we're also going to take out one two I'm not sure how well this is focusing uh, two is in just here and the same three and four so uh, let's go about and do that um, feel free to talk amongst yourselves while I probably choose yeah by the look at the wrong screwdriver uh, it's the medium one we want out of the set. Um, got this off of Amazon. Um, 10 quid, I think, with postage, if that. So really not too bad. Um, you can't really go wrong or do any damage other than not be able to get the screws out. Uh, second one, I completely lied, is at the bottom here. Sorry, that side bit. The joys of kind of looking through a camera and doing this at the same time. Um, hopefully they're going to come out and we're going to put them somewhere safe uh, and then we're going to do the same on the other side we've got one here which I'm going to remove but it's magnetic so it's stuck on there um, and one last one at the top so this is the fifth one hopefully it actually will come out this time there we go uh, and now the face plate will just lift off pretty scary huh but um, don't worry about that. That's the button that comes off, and it always comes off. Don't worry about it. Um, so there's my old shell. Um, I went on Amazon actually late last night. Um, picked this up for just a couple of quid. Um, this was four pounds plus six pounds to get the next day delivery. So if I'd been patient, um, it comes with these jagged bits that look scary, but they come with the inserts. These basically are customizable. So you can buy these in whatever color you want. So you could have uh, gold maybe to look a bit Iron Man-y. Uh, and you can see they've got teeth on them that line up with the teeth. Uh, some of them don't. Um, I did originally buy a black one that turned up from eBay. And it's completely wrong because it doesn't have the slots, but it's it's rigid in the middle. Um, remember to put your button back. Um, your button only goes one way, which I think is this way, and sits in. It's one of these ways. It sits in there. 
No, that's wobbly. This is so hard doing this through a camera. There you go. See, it only sits one way. There it is. See it? The button. There you go. This should now, in theory, slide over the top nice and easily. Which it does. You can give these a little wobble. Now, if you get a really cheapy, cheap one of these, the reason I pick this company is because they say they test them all. If you get a really cheap company, sometimes the buttons don't ping back. Um, so you might have to yourself file these down. But this fits pretty well. Um, the A button is the key. That should spring back. Uh, basically, these three are connected on the same pad, and this is actually a different pad, so just check they all work. All of these should work. You're not touching any of this. Um, guys, if you want to remove this, that's that's a whole new ball game that I'm not even bothering with. Um, and then, uh, pretty simple, really. We just flip it back over and put the screws back in. Um, so feel free to talk amongst yourselves while I really thrillingly do this. Um, it's not particularly tricky to do. If I can do it, anyone can. I do, however, have a job where I use screwdrivers all day, all day. All day, all day, all day, every day. This is a little bit tight. I'm just going to push that a little flush. It is a cover, okay? So this being over the top and loose is fine, okay? It's not meant to be plush. It's meant to be loose. Um, and then we're going to pop the two in, if I can see, at the bottom. And this one here. If I can line it up properly, which apparently I can't. There we go. Um, do these up tight. Uh, you're not going to damage the controller. Worst case scenario, uh, the faceplate is ill-fitting if you've got a cheapy cheap one. Um, not that I've got an expensive one. Like I say, this was four pounds. Um, at worst, you're going to crack the case. Um, but we're replacing a case, so it's fine. Um, do them up tight. Do them all up tight. Just going to make sure, because the reason you want them tight is you obviously want everything to sit absolutely flush. You don't want to be catching the case while you press the buttons. Um, looking a bit happier now. Um, somewhere in all this mess, because uh, I don't plan these things. There we go. I knew I'd put it somewhere safe. It's my fifth one, which again goes under the warranty void. <laughs> sits in there and don't do that do maybe do you know what? I have a newfound respect for people that do fitting stuff on camera it's not easy that should be in nice and tight flap that back over uh, your battery pack obviously sits in actually let's do that last um, these in theory I've never put these back on but they should just push on which they do, and they make a nice little clunk. And this one should clip on too, which it does. Oh, that feels nice. I like that. Um, and that's it, really. We can uh, put the battery pack in properly, put the back on. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason I'm only using one paddle. I do actually, that was for um, Overwatch. I was trying to uh, hover. Uh, put your thumbsticks back on, like so. Pretty easy, because they're magnetic. Whichever D-pad you want. And that's it, that is a new, everything's working. That is now my Xbox Elite controller with a new faceplate. So uh, I'm not throwing this away at all, um, but as you can see, it's got pretty damaged and pretty scuffed up and this is actually grinding um, when I use it and the A button's grinding a little bit but like I say I was one of the first to get a custom faceplate um, I shall be keeping it but no longer do I have a damaged one I have a nice new shiny one uh, gold metallic finish and it's very soft very soft touch it is called soft touch again this is on Amazon and um, pretty easy to find just look up uh, Xbox One Elite faceplate and there you go that is how you swap over a faceplate uh, thanks for watching. Till next time. Ta-da!